Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey there, Soul Forge listeners. It's Sean bringing you episode 28. I hope you're having a great week. Christmas is coming soon, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Actually, it's kind of a different episode. We're not really going to talk about Christmas. What I did was the other day, I had my son, Bishop, here for dinner. So I pulled out the recording equipment and had Bishop and Rebecca sit around with me and we talked about Christmas. Who's Rebecca? Rebecca is my girlfriend Cheryl's daughter. So you'll hear a bit of Cheryl in the background on the audio recording. And uh, basically what I did was I, I sat between the two kids and we just had a little bit of a random chat. Rebecca was super excited about being on the podcast. Bishop was on the birthday episode there a few weeks back, but they both seem to really like it. Uh, they want to both do it again, especially Rebecca. There's a bit of crosstalk on the recording and tapping and stuff because they don't really know podcast recording etiquette, which I guess I need to teach them. But I've cleaned up the audio as best as I can. Uh, it's not perfect. It, we, we were in the kitchen, and they were bouncing around on their chairs, and they were uh, meandering all over the place in the conversation, but uh, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. I'm not sure we got into it as in-depth as I would have liked. Uh, I was going to bring up the whole uh, meaning behind Christmas, celebrating uh, Jesus' birthday and all that stuff, but none of us are religious, and I don't think they know too much about the actual history of it. I know they don't teach religious stuff in school anymore, not like when we were kids. So I didn't actually get into that much. We just talked about gifts and, and whatnot. Uh, without further preamble or further ado, just a quick conversation I had with Bishop and Rebecca. I hope you enjoy it. Accessing library computer data. So what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about Christmas because Christmas is coming up. It's Monday. And are you excited? Yeah. How excited are you? Why not? Super excited. I today was Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Then why'd you say it's Monday? Monday is Christmas. Oh, next week. I didn't. Monday. I didn't say today was Christmas. Oh, I thought. I thought you. Was, I thought you meant today was Monday. Today is not Monday. Today is Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday. The twentieth, December. Yep. What day is Christmas? The twenty-fifth. Okay, don't do that. That's gonna mess up the recording. Mm. I'm recording. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Kate, don't do things like that. <laughs> All right. So uh, I thought what we would do is just uh, have, a, have a quick discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how excited on, on, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 are you for Christmas? 10. And you? Mm, 10, 11. 11. Oh, you're going all the way up to 11, are you? 18. I am actually like... 18. Like... 50 below? Yeah. Something wait, like that? I forgot how to spell 8. What, why, 50 below? Why are you so excited? So I can well, get lots of presents. 50 below. Okay, one at a time, all right? Because right. it won't pick up everybody, so we'll have... Oh, uh, okay. Right. All right. So why are you so excited? Because so I can get a lot of presents. Is that the only thing that makes you excited? And also so I can have fun with my family. Spending time with your family is important to you? Yes. And what is most important to you about Christmas? Eggnog. Eggnog. <laughs> That's your favorite thing about Christmas? Yep. Not spending time with your family? I do. But mostly the eggnog. Mostly. Okay. <laughs> and what is well, it about eggnog that you love so much? Everything. <laughs> that's, that's it? That's all you got? Yeah. Okay. Are we all done? Oh, no. We're not, we're not done yet. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> Do we say what is our favorite thing of Christmas and our favorite present of Christmas? Right sure. What is your favorite thing of Christmas? My favorite thing of Christmas is that, like, like elves 
they like go around, like they do funny stuff around your house, and they also have pets, which like there's reindeers, and some people say there is remote control elf pets of dogs. Is that right? I saw it on a video on YouTube. Oh wow! And and you, what is your favorite thing at Christmas besides eggnog? Mm. Family. Okay, that's important. Decorating tree. Oh, you like decorating the and tree. And the fun activities we get to do at school instead of doing math work. Ah, that's important. This year, did you go to Grandma's house and decorate the tree? Uh, no. Remember, because every year, at least when I was part of the family, you yeah. would, uh, we would all sit around Grandma's tree mm -hmm. and decorate with cranberries and popcorn. I think we're gonna do that. Really? Uh, yeah. Later. Oh, you haven't done it, it yet. But you're, you think you're going to do I it? I think we might do it on the weekend so Colin can do it as well. Oh, there you go. Okay. And also, my favorite thing is about Christmas is decorating the tree because it's so much fun. Yeah? Is that, is that uh, so much fun? Yes. Yeah? Okay. And what's the best part of decorating a tree? That you get to put the ornaments on and, and like, sometimes... Those things I wrap around the tree. Those the, gar are, the garland. Yeah, those are... Do you like, like tinsel? What's tinsel? Oh, you don't do tinsels there, Mama? No. Uh, I've never got tinsel. It's tin messy. Tinsel's that little... Uh, how, how would you they're, describe it? They're the very, very thin, thin strands Oh, so kind of, of like it. the ribbon that you use to wrap presents? No. It's even thinner uh, than that. It's like sil silver ice gold. Uh, you know what the garland? Silver ice gold. You know what the garland looks like? Mm -hmm. The it's little pretty just one, It's pretty much just one strand what? of that. Yes. Really, really long strand of that. Yeah. So. But I don't think people really use it anymore because it's so messy. No, I don't even know if they sell it. I haven't seen it in years. I haven't seen it in forever either. They call it icicle something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mom used to love that stuff. What store? Yeah. What store? Yeah. I used to like plaster the tree in it. Yeah. And then she'd be like, okay, you guys can take the tree down. And we're like, uh, no. <laughs> I like Yanni tree. Are you tired? And, mm -hmm. yeah. Are we and oh, no, I'm just tired. <laughs> and uh, what store do you get them? I don't even know if they sell them anymore. Back in the day, we probably would have bought it from Zellers. Uh, Kmart. Kmart, yes, Kmart. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about Kmart. Kmart. All these stores that no longer exist anymore. Was there a lot of toys in Kmart back then? Oh, yeah. There was, back in the day. Stores that don't exist, like Future Shop? Right. Maybe. But Future Shop transformed into Best Buy. I still like the Future Shop. Still? Better logo. What's that? Yeah, I like their logo better. You like the Best Buy or the Future Shop logo? Future Shop logo better. What, what's better about that? That the entire thing isn't on a price tag. Yeah. Okay. The Best Buy logo is on a price tag, but the Future Shop logo is unique. Okay. And so that's probably why I liked it so much. Alright. And do you guys collect ornaments year after year? Uh, well, my mom buys new ornaments every year. This year she bought two, which is Poppy from Trolls and Wonder Woman, who's a superhero. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you? Do you, uh, do you get a new ornament every year? Mm, or not no, really? No, not really. No? But I know you did. I did. You were collecting those, uh, Hallmark ornaments. Ah, uh, yes. Hallmark ornaments. I've I've gotten. I really want that. Uh, what was it? Data and Picard mm, Star Trek card. ornament. Yeah, on the yes, yeah, that's the, that's this year's the one that I don't have. Because <laughs> well, ever it, since like, closed or something? Hallmark in Timmins closed, uh, so not all the Hallmarks are closed. Like Future Show. Right, but right. It's just not here anymore. Yeah, because I uh, I've collected all the Star Trek Hallmark ornaments since 1993. Whoa. Yes. So that was when my mom was 13. Right, this is true. Because right now my mom is 37. And actually it's a bit weird because like, cause eight, cause she was born in 1980. Yeah. So like she should be 47 because like if it was already... If it was or because it's, uh, wait a second, okay, never mind. So she should be 37? 
Yeah. Okay. You, you got that all figured out? Yeah. All right. If you are loving this podcast, if you're loving this podcast, you should tell a friend about it. Spread the word about podcasts you think they would enjoy. There's something for everyone from entertainment and lifestyle to news and politics and more. Share it on social media. Believe it or not, some people don't know how great podcasts are or even how to find and listen to them. You can help change that with a click. Tell your friends about your favorite podcast. Thanks for spreading the word. Uh, so every year we build a gingerbread house. Mm-hmm. So after we're done recording the podcast, we're actually going to build a gingerbread house. Mm-hmm. Are we excited about that? Yeah. Okay. Cause you like eggnog mm-hmm. and you like gingerbread. Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you like eggnog? Uh, no, no, never. How do you not like eggnog? What is actually eggnog? It's like really thick milk. Maybe we'll get some this year and we'll try it. Okay. Loved eggnog. Ever since my first time trying eggnog, I've always loved it so much. Well, there you go then. All right. So, do you kids have like a favorite Christmas memory? Mm. How about you first, Bishop? Um, I can't really remember. Why not? No. All right, Rebecca. Do you have a favorite Christmas memory? I think it's like. Every year I am at my grandma's Mm -hmm. on Christmas. Okay. Because I usually be there on Christmas since, I think, since I was a baby. And also I open up the dog's presents. You get to open the dog's presents? Yes, there's three dogs because my aunt, she got a puppy. My uncle Andrew has a puppy, which is a golden retriever. My, I mean, wait, did I say uncle? Yeah, okay. I'll go on that. My papa has a golden retriever, and it's a girl, and also my uncle Your has a girl a golden retriever. And my aunt got, like, this, well, it's a puppy. Mm-hmm. It's, like, beige, white, and brown. I have no idea what they're called. Oh, I don't know either. But you get to open up the dog presents. Yes. All three of them. Yes. And is that your favorite part of Christmas? Or well, my favorite, it's, like, sort of my favorite. Okay. Oh, it's fun. And, and you have two dogs at home. Do they get presents? Mm, not always, but recently we put up their stockings. They have stockings? But the thing is... Yeah? I don't think... I think we have to place them, like, higher or somewhere else. Because Buster or Chi-Chi, I don't know, um, one of the dogs ended up actually taking down the things. No kidding. That Silly thing. dogs. And the reason the why... The reason mm-hmm. why... Is because they knew the balls were in there. Because ah. they got the balls for Christmas. Right, and they wanted them early. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, do you, either of you have a favorite uh, Christmas present that you've received in the past? A pillow. I got a pillow. It's like one of the big pillows. Like, a body pillow? Uh, well, it's kind of a body pillow. Except it's not, instead of being like really long, Yeah. it's like kind of like a wall with little rests, like armrests. Oh, so you can sit behind it or in front yeah. of it. Yeah. Oh, okay, and you? My favorite present is LOL dolls because they're my favorite toy. LOL dolls? Yes, they're my favorite toy. And also, I get like lots of stuff for Christmas. Cause are, you, are you saying you're spoiled? No, not no. really. Okay. I don't know. All right, so you, uh, so uh, in conclusion, mm-hmm. what do you kids think is the true spirit or true meaning of Christmas? What's it all about? If you boil it down, there's presents and there's eggnog and there's ornaments and stuff, but what does it really mean to you? Like, we get presents, we celebrate stuff, like a lot of stuff, like... Like we celebrate, it's almost like celebrating winter, or like celebrating something like that, whatever. Okay. And you? The true meaning of Christmas. True meaning of Christmas. Actually, Christmas means to me happiness. Yeah? Yeah. Is that it? And getting lots of presents is the happiness. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you? It's like I love my family. Hmm. What do you think? The true meaning of Christmas is just to be together with family. That's a good one. To be together with family. All right. Well, this has been a very entertaining conversation with you guys. Also quite long. 
about 12 minutes. Is, and, is there anything else you want to talk about? And also, hanging out with my family is also by Christmas for me. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell the listeners? I like the smell of coffee. <laughs> okay. Very good. My favorite smell is like chocolate and stuff. Like chocolate fudge, chocolate ornaments. Chocolate ornaments? <laughs> well. Advent like, calendars, maybe? Yeah, the oh, calendars. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back. Hi. Uh, so, do you have a favorite Christmas memory you'd like to share? No. No? No Christmas All right. memory. Transfer of data is complete. So that was a lot of fun. Definitely different. Not our usual fare here on the Soul Forge podcast. Just a bit of fun this week. Uh, we're all very busy during this time of year. Are you even going to have much time to listen to podcasts? I'm not sure. But I wanted to give you guys something for the week. So after listening to that episode, I just want you to reflect. Think about your favorite Christmas memories. The things that make you happy as a child. What makes you happy now? Turkey. Presents. Going to church. Spending time with family. It could be any one of those things. It could be all of those things. It could be something completely different. You, my friends, are unique individuals. Whatever makes you happy, that's all that matters. As long as you're happy. What I'm really trying to say is, I hope you all have a great holiday season, whether you celebrate it or not. Just have a great week. Never stop working on yourself. And we'll be back next week with another exciting episode. So take care. For Christmas, all I want is for you to leave a five-star review in the iTunes store and tell all your friends about the podcast. And remember, you were born to be real, not to be perfect. This has been another episode of the Soul Forge Podcast with Sean Vanderloo. If you'd like to contact the show, email us at soulforgepodcast at gmail.com. We are Soul Forge Pod on Twitter. You can follow Sean on Twitter and Instagram at Darth Vaderloo. Please rate and review us in Apple Podcasts or the podcatcher of your choice. To support the show for as little as a dollar a month, visit patreon.com slash Darth Vaderloo. Thanks for visiting the Forge. We will see you for the next episode. This has been a Valley of Vanderloo podcast production, all rights reserved. This transmission ends now.